Hey everyone and welcome to CA Daily Touchpoints. Today in our CA Daily Bible Reading Plan, we are in Genesis chapter 9. And this chapter is really the conclusion to the story of Noah's Ark and the Flood. In this chapter, we read about the covenant that God makes with Noah and all living creatures after the flood. And a covenant is an agreement between two parties. And so here's what God is committing to in this covenant. In verse 11, he says, I establish my covenant with you that never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of a flood and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. And then God says that the sign of his covenant will be the rainbow. So starting in verse 13, he says, I have set my bow in the clouds and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth and the bow is seen in the clouds, I will remember my covenant that is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh and the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. Most of us love to see a rainbow in the sky. We love the beauty of the rainbow and the colors. We love to see the rainbow arching through the sky after a storm or the rain. But a rainbow is not just a beautiful part of God's creation. It's also a sign of God's covenant. It serves as a reminder for us of God's promise to never again flood the entire earth and destroy all flesh. You guys, we have a few children's Bibles that we read with our boys at home, and this one includes the story of Noah's Ark. And here's how the story ends in the children's Bible. It says this, Up above them, a rainbow stretched across the sky, a sign of God's promise that he would never do this again. And when God makes a promise, he always keeps it. God is our promise keeper, and we can trust that God will fulfill all of his promises to us, including the promise he made to Noah after the flood. So Genesis 9 tells the story of God's covenant with Noah, but what's so interesting to me is how the chapter ends. If you remember from earlier in Genesis, God decided to flood the earth because of the wickedness of humankind, but he spared Noah and his family, and the Bible tells us that Noah was blameless and righteous and he walked with God. But Genesis 9 ends with a story about Noah and his sons that involves sin. Noah is drunk. One of his sons dishonors him. You can read the details at the end of chapter 9, but the story reminds us that all of humanity is sinful and that all of us are sinners in need of a Savior. We all need Jesus to save us from our sin. The story also gives us hope that God can use sinful men and women like you and me, just like he used a sinful human being like Noah. No matter what you've done or where you've been, God can use you and your story for his glory and his kingdom purposes. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for your word. Thank you, God, for the story of Noah and the ark, Lord, and your covenant with Noah and with all living creatures after the flood. God, thank you for the beauty of the rainbow that you created, and thank you that the rainbow serves as a sign of your covenant, Lord, with Noah and with all living creatures. God, thank you for your promises to us. Thank you that you are our great promise keeper, that you will fulfill every promise you have made to your people, God. And Lord, thank you that you use messed up sinful human beings like us, like Noah, like so many different characters throughout the pages of the Bible that you have used for your glory and for your kingdom purposes. God, I pray that you would use us for your glory. I pray, God, that you would use us for your kingdom purposes and to be on mission with you. And God, for anyone who believes or thinks that they are beyond redemption or beyond hope or that you can never use someone as messed up as they are, God, I pray that you would show them the truth that all of us have hope in you, that we are not beyond hope with you. And God, show us that you can use us and want to use us, God. We pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Thanks, you guys. Great to be with you.